One of the questions many patients ask us when they come to a reproductive endocrinologist is, what do these numbers mean? What is ovarian reserve or ovarian competence? What these terms refer to is essentially the quantity and quality of the eggs that the woman has and that are available to uh, be fertilized and lead to conception. Some of the numbers we look at are what's called the antral follicle count, or the number of follicles contained within the ovaries. And also we look at measurements called the follicle stimulating hormone level, or FSH level, and anti-mullerian hormone level, or AMH level. All these blood levels are numbers that give us some indication as a predictor of the quantity and quality of eggs. But none of the numbers by themselves determine the ability for a particular patient to become pregnant. FSH, or follicle stimulating hormone, is a hormone released by the pituitary gland in the brain. When the woman's follicles, which contain the eggs, decreases over time, the FSH level tries to compensate by rising. A high FSH level indicates a diminishing number of follicles and sometimes diminished egg quality. The antral follicle count is the number of follicles in the ovaries prior to stimulation. That follicle count is also an indicator of the number of eggs we might expect to get in a stimulation cycle or a cycle in which we're using medications to increase egg numbers. The anti-mullerian hormone level is a hormone level uh, reflecting the ovarian reserve as well. This hormone is produced by the cells within the follicle and when that level is high it indicates lots of follicles and a low number often indicates a diminished number of follicles or even a diminished egg quality. At the right time in the menstrual cycle, typically early in the menstrual cycle, the physician will order all these tests for you to try to get a good indication of where you are in your reproductive lifespan. Keep in mind that these numbers are predictors, but they are not perfect predictors of the chance of becoming pregnant. At the time of your follow-up examination or consultation with the physician, the physician will review these numbers with you and give you some indication of where you are in your fertility lifespan.